Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I'm really happy about our results in the premium group signals so far for this week. I believe they are fair and very good signals and I think we are making so far good profit out of them. As we can see, these are the signals that we have sent yesterday. Thankfully, all of the signals are in good profit except of course for the pound USD, which we have closed later in loss. And of course, um, the day after, sorry, the day before, which was Monday, these are the signals that we have sent on Monday. As you can see, Euro and ZD, Euro pound, we're in good profit. CAD GPY sadly actually went in loss, but uh, it's okay because we have made also good profits from the other signals. Of course, it's very normal that one signal is my, one or two signals might loss, but however, we are sending sometimes a bonus signal, making them five signals per day, and thankfully, we are able to recover any loss happens, and that is, of course, normal, and that is uh, what we are doing in Extreme Trader. So, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today, and hopefully, we will see you there. Today is finally the day. Finally, Mr. Joe Biden is officially gonna, gonna be the new president of the United States and Donald Trump is finally out of the picture. I cannot express how happy I am about this because since Donald Trump came, the forex market and the stock market are never the same. This guy kept making tweets over and over and for some reason, they were being taken way too seriously. And whenever he makes any tweets, actually it it can actually change the whole direction of the market. We opened so many trades in the past four years and every time, not every time, I cannot say every time, so many times, for example, in the premium group, the signals were going in a good profit. Then suddenly we find out that the trades went in loss. And when we are inspecting for the reason, it appeared, of course, that our best friend, Donald Trump has made a tweet that screwed up our signals. And of course, that was really uh, making me angry. And I'm just excited for the day that Donald Trump leaves the presidency. Anyway, today is actually going to be a big day, but not because of that Joe Biden is going to be the new president of the United States. We are having a lot of upcoming uh, high impact news ahead. We have to be careful and we have really to be aware about the market condition today. For example, today at 3 p.m., uh, the Bank of Canada monetary policy report, actually this is going to be uh, affecting the market and I think that the Bank of Canada rate statement announcement is actually going to also affect the CAD pairs. Not to mention, of course, uh, Bank of England uh, government barely is going to speak and of course Mr. Joe Biden is going to speak as well. And as we can see tomorrow, Thursday, uh, AUD at 12, uh, 12, uh, 12.30 a.m. GMT time, uh, unemployment rate in news is going to be out and we have to be careful of course and of course don't we don't don't forget about bank of japan outlook report so we are having really a lot of events coming uh, ahead this week uh, they are going to be really appealing for trading for trading the news of course but however they are going to cause the market to go on high volatility and therefore we have to be of course very careful and wise about our trades so please guys be careful because all these events or these news, up the upcoming news, might actually change the outcome of the signals that I'm going to give you right now. So, uh, of course, we will start with the Euro USD. So, regarding the Euro USD, as you can see, the pair has actually made the bullish breakout from the long term uh, support right on 1.2118. Right now, the trade is going in loss, of course, and it's inside the safe zone. But however, I believe eventually the Euro USD is going to continue the fall and it's going to be a good deal and going to be in profit. So where exactly we can expect from the pair to fall? If we check here, right, uh, if we check right here, the Fibonacci levels, if we draw here a Fibonacci retracement, we can notice that we are having 61.8 just before touching the other edge of the safe zone. And of course, if we look at the left, we can see right here, we had a long, a, a strong long-term uh, key resistance level. Therefore, I believe that the Euro USD eventually going to continue the fall. Just don't be worried, guys. Uh, the trade is now going in uh, inside the safe zone and hopefully it's going to be eventually be in profit. And of course, don't forget to close your trade immediately. If you notice any bullish breakout candle appears 
outside the safe zone because that means that the trade is going to be actually uh, that the market is going to change the direction uh, of course i have to remind you that if we draw here fibonacci retracement like that we have to keep our eyes on fibonacci retracement 61.8 if the candles were actually able to make any breakout or bullish breakout candle above 61.8 that means that the, the whole direction of the trend is going to be changed because that means that the market is actually going to fall a little bit more to retest the broken level on 1.21659 and after that going to continue the rise. I don't think this is going to happen at the moment. I believe that the euro USD is going to be still good for the short, especially with uh, today's news about Joe Biden is going to be officially the new president of the United States. So therefore, please keep your trade running and just hopefully uh, it's going to be in profit eventually after reversing from 61.8. Now let's look at the pound USD. For the pound USD, sadly, the pair didn't reverse also on the previous support level on 1.36163. Um, the pair right now is actually in a bullish momentum. And therefore, we can expect from the pair to continue the rise. And if I'm not mistaken, the whole direction has changed already. And we can expect from the pound USD to continue the rise until it touched that resistance level. If we draw here a Fibonacci retracement as well, we can see that the pair right now is getting or actually the current candle is above 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and as I just said if that happens that means that the market has changed the direction so actually the pound USD is still inside the safe zone but however it's really hard to tell because we have to wait for this candle to close but looking at the one hour time frame we can see that we already have here one bullish breakout candle and by the way if you remember guys from my videos about the price action this bullish breakout candle this price action usually indicates a continuation that means most likely the pound usd is actually going to continue the rise therefore i have to change the signal from the sell to the buy so therefore let me just delete the old signal and i really uh, i'm really apologizing about the signal if anyone have lost money because of it but this is forex this is the forecast and this is what we are this is what we are doing so we have to uh, remember that these things might happen and of course you have to always trade with the proper money management and prepare for the losses so anyway what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to give you this the next level where we can actually start the or to continue buying the pound usd now as we can see the pair is continuing the rise look at that the bullish momentum is very strong and therefore we can see right here i'm i'm aligning my support line with this support right here in a way that it touches all of the tails however uh, in the way touching all the tails meaning i have to increase my line to the 61.8 but however i want to making it a little bit lower just to give her the uh, give a room to the candle to expand if it if in case it's gonna go a little bit more to fibo 50 and therefore i'm going to select uh, the line between 50 and 61.8 as our new buy level so of course this is going to be valid only for this week however the week after i believe we are going to start shorting the pound usd we have to wait and see what will gonna happen anyway so let me just uh, draw for you that this is where we can start buying the pair for the pound USD. The pound USD is going to be good for the buy at the level uh, 1.36272. Now someone might ask me, Salah, how come you are selling the Euro USD and you are buying the pound USD? Guys, it doesn't work this way. It doesn't work this way and I just don't have time to explain it. Uh, however, uh, there are two pairs that actually not um actually there is no room for for explaining like, uh, this way we are already in five minutes and the video is gonna be about uh, 20 minutes so it's okay we can explain this in another another video however uh we are going to buy the pound usd right from that level and the stop loss or this the edge of the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for long i think here is, is fair enough at this level so this is gonna be the safe zone just like that and the take profit is going to be the peak of that resistance right here so hopefully you are aiming from the pound usd 82 pips of profit so this is going to be our take profit level at 1.37086 
So there goes the midweek signal for the pound USD and I really hope it's gonna work very well for us and bring us good profits. Now looking at the AUD USD. The AUD USD signal hasn't been triggered yet. However, I believe that the pair is actually going in a bearish momentum as well. So therefore, uh, we can actually start shorting the pair as soon as possible. I mean, um, I'm, go I'm just going to change the level where we can start short the pound, uh, sorry, the AUD USD. Actually, I think it's going to be a good idea to start shorting the pair exactly from that level of the resistance at 0 0.7239. So let me just change the level like that. This is where we can start actually shorting the AUD USD and I'm just going to change the sell level to be 0 0.7240 uh, I would say. And of course the take profit level is going to remain the same. So as we can see the AUD USD right now is getting ready to, to revisit the resistance level on 0 0.7239 and I believe after that the pair is going to be really good and valid for the short and if that happens we are actually looking for making about um, I would say 82 or 81 pips of profit so hopefully also it's going to be a good signal and we will make good profits out of it. Let's look at the USD CAD. For the USD CAD actually the signal hasn't been triggered yet but however at the opening on Monday the market has shown a strong bullish momentum. Right now, the pair is actually falling to revisit the broken support level on 1.27067. So therefore, I believe the signal for the USD, for the USD CAD uh, can remain the same. We have to wait for the pair to fall for another 18 or 19 pips before going to be valid for the buy, before actually uh, to revisit that support level right here. I believe that support is going to hold the position since we're having here one strong bullish momentum and the USD is rising so therefore I believe the USD signal can be uh, remain the same and hopefully today is going to be triggered. Let's look at the USD GPY. USD GPY signal actually was going in a good profit. I mean the signal has been triggered already uh, I think Monday afternoon and we can see that it went in four, uh, 36 pips of profit right now. It's making another pullback. And just keep in mind that the USDGPY right now is on the, in the support zone of 103.80 or 800. So therefore, the USDGPY signal is going to remain the same. And we will not change anything about it. So hopefully also it will end up as in good profit. Now look at the USDCHF. USDCHF actually is now ranging inside the safe zone but however if I'm not mistaken and relying on that support level right here we can see that the pair is not actually able to make any breakout from the support of 0 0.8733. Look at that. This is the support I'm talking about and we can see that the pair has actually reversed exactly at that same level, level of the previous support and even right here right now the pair has actually made one third attempt on that support level and reversed exactly on the same level. In the case that this level of the support is quite strong and most likely the USDCHF might make one last attempt, I think, and after that it's going to continue the rise. So therefore the USDCHF signal remains the same and nothing's changed about it and hopefully also it will be a good deal and we will make good profits out of it. Now let's look at the gold. The gold actually has been triggered and it is really fantastic and great signal I believe. Guys, why no one talked about it? Come on guys, give me some credit for it. I mean, I'm very happy and very proud about the level that, that I have selected to start buying the pair. Actually, I'm very happy also because so many traders, they sent me messages telling me why the hell are you buying the gold it should be for the short the gold is in a very strong short uh, or uh, bearish momentum you should sell the gold and i told them guys i really don't think the gold is gonna fall at the moment the gold seems good for the buy thankfully i was right uh, the gold has reversed and it was really good for the buy at the level 1808 and as we can see the trade right now is going in almost 300 61 pips of profit that's amazing and i'm very happy about this signal now let's see what's going to happen next now what we are what we are going to do right now 
is we have to be very careful and realistic about trading the gold. No one can tell you that the gold is going to be good for the buy or short at certain level, especially today or this week with all these upcoming news coming uh, ahead. So therefore, what we are going to do, we have to be, as I said before, log we have to make logic or be, be, let's put some common sense about our trades. Now, the gold right now is ranging inside this resistance zone. Uh, sorry, a, a resistance trend line. If we go to the back to the four hour time frame, we can see that the, the gold right now is ranging at this resistance trend line. So therefore, we have to wait for the gold to see how it's going to react to that level. Now, if you see any bullish breakout candle appears right from here above that resistance trend line, it means that the gold is going to be good for the buy again and we can keep the trade running. However, if we see, for example, at that resistance trend line, a pin bar has appeared or any signal indicates that the gold good for the short, such as uh, if we see, for example, a reversed hammer candle, or, or this is actually my favorite price action. If you see a candle that look like this, that indicates that the pair is going to be good for the short. So right now, at this time, it's really hard to tell if the gold going to continue the fall or not. Uh, from my point of view, from my own experience, I think that the gold is going to continue the rise because the bullish momentum is very strong. And as we can see on the past, uh, let me see how many candles. Uh, on the past uh, 12 candles or 12, uh, tw yeah, 12 candles, we can notice that we had only two red candles. Oh, sorry, three candles, three red candles against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine green candles. Um, the buyer is actually controlling the market right now and the gold seems like it's going to continue the rising. If we now go to the one hour time frame, we can notice that the pair is actually moving in a strong bullish momentum like that and therefore seems like the gold eventually going to continue the rise and going to be good for the buy. So for me, it's really hard to tell you what we can do. If you have opened the trade, you can keep it running. If in case you didn't open the trade, then at this certain level right here, it's not possible to tell you if we should buy or sell. I can give you the, I can give you the signal to start buying the gold right from that level of the support right here. But what if, what if the market failed to break out from that resistance trend line? In that case, the signal is going to be not valid. Or I can tell you to start short the gold right here uh, from that resistance trend line. But then after posting or after publishing the video, we can see a bullish breakout candle appears. That means the signal is going to be no, lo no longer valid. So therefore, for the gold, we have to be, guys, very careful this week. And as I said before, it's really hard to tell you. The only thing I can tell you here that the gold actually going to continue the rise, in my opinion. But the, ma the question is where we can start buying the gold. So therefore, let me just put this scenario for you and I'm going to leave it to you or it's up to you if you want to buy or not. The gold actually can be bought again exactly from that level of the uh, previous resistance. One second. Sorry, I had to pause the recording for a few seconds. Uh, however, what I was talking about, uh, we are having right here on the one hour time frame. This is strong resistance for the gold on 1843.53. Now, let me just tell you something. This is, this candle still have seven minutes in the lifespan time uh, till, till it expires. If we notice here a strong bullish candle appears, then we can ready. We can get ready to start again buying the gold, buying, buying the gold. If we see here any pullback happens to retest the broken level of that resistance. From that point, we can start again buying the gold. So therefore, uh, okay. Let me just uh, finish one by one. So this is going to be actually our signal to start buying the gold. And let me just uh, make it clear only if we see a bullish breakout candle. Right from that level. Oh, I forgot to mention the level. Sorry. Buy at 1843.53. So, of course, we have to make it very clear that we can only buy if we see a strong bullish candle. Let me delete the old signal since it's no longer valid. Now, the thing is, if we see uh, this bullish breakout candle appears and we can start again buying the gold from that certain level, then we can keep the trade running 
at least until it hit that resistance level at 1861 actually we are aiming 1870 but however just to be more realistic we are aiming 1861 so therefore we are actually aiming 173 pips of profit really hopefully we will make them all 1861.20 i would say however if you see here a, p a pin bar has appeared a pin bar has appeared don't please buy the, the gold again at all because if that pin bar appears that means most likely that the gold is gonna continue the fall but however on the long run i believe the gold is gonna still be valid for the buy so therefore the signal is gonna be immediately not valid if in case only if you see if you see a pin bar or any signs of uh, bearish reversal but as i said before if you see the candles actually uh, moving strongly up or actually having a strong bear, uh, uh, bullish momentum then please keep the trade running for the safe zone of course we are gonna keep the safe zone for almost 92 pips which is fair enough and remember guys this signal should be valid only for uh, three days only no more for wednesday thursday and friday so there goes your signal for the gold and i really hope the gold is going to continue giving us profits and hopefully it's going to continue the rise again please uh, sorry again guys please don't ever buy the gold if sorry don't ever buy the gold if you see any sign of a bearish reversal at this point right here on the resistance trend line that resistance trend line is going to be very critical and we are relying on it to see any continuation you can only buy the gold only if you see this candle right here has a closed actually as a bullish candle a bullish breakout candle and then the, we can see that the, the the pair is just falling to make the retest of that level of the broken resistance and only after that you can start the buy i know i repeated what i said but just wanted to make sure the information is uh, printed in your head like that so in the end uh, i think this is going to be also a very good week for everyone and in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching